without the consent of the Congress. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Congressman Tancredo, let us add to this mix of circumstances. I'm sorry. Let's, let's add to this mix of circumstances a statement from Israel that says we can't wait. If you don't act, we're going to. What yeah. do you do? Well, the scenario you laid out is not one, of course, that leaves you many options, leaves the President of the United States or anybody else many options. You have to actually look at the, the use. I think one of the most important things we can do with Iran is to look at the Iranian people themselves to the extent that we can. There, are, there is a great deal of dissent inside Iran. And I agree, we, we certainly don't immediately you know, use the, the, the button. We immediately don't go to war. But I also tell you that we cannot back away from this situation, and we cannot be threatened in that way. If it takes it, if it takes it, action must be, is, I mean, if it's required, action has to be taken, and a president has to do that. We can no longer, I, you know, one of the things that has really bothered me during this whole discussion is the fact that we, are, we continue to be, try, be politically correct when we face these, these situations. Political correctness is going to get us all killed. It is absolutely the thing we have to fear. And just, just, Ken, if I could for just a minute, listen. It is already the thing that has gotten us killed in other places. We will, I will never, however, go to war and under any circumstances by putting men and women of the armed forces in, in places of danger with their hands tied behind them with rules of engagement that Thank they you. cannot live by. Thank you, sir. That's never going to happen. Thank you. Congressman Hunter? Yeah. Well, I, I hate to answer a... Um, Hypothetical. I think you don't want a, a president who's going to answer this question in uh, in 60 seconds. But here's a few considerations. Uh, first, uh, uh, you have uh, the need to use precision systems, uh, precision, uh, very accurate uh, weapons. Some of them with earth penetrating capability. Uh, you need to be able to isolate uh, uh, if you have to strike, and if you get close to a 90 percent refinement of nu of uh, weapons grade fuel, uranium. At that point, the danger is if you don't eliminate it, then it could be passed to a terrorist group or to another nation, which at some point might make a nuclear device. Uh, so you have to isolate. A re the reaction force would be coming, obviously, from the Iraqi side. And you would look probably at the pattern of what the Israelis did with the Osiric reactor that Saddam Hussein built back in the 1980s when eight F-16s came over the horizon and, uh, and took care of that problem. I would say this, you can't allow them to have a nuclear device. Uh, you would have to obviously work very closely with, uh, with all allies, not just the Israelis, but hopefully have help from Europe, help from the Brits, help from the Aussies. And uh, my answer would be that uh, you would have to ensure that they had no nuclear device in the end of the operation Thank you. and had no material, no Thank weapons you, grade material Governor, available. How can be your thoughts on this? And that would ultimately uh, require some ground forces to do a a, a battle damage assessment. Thank you, sir.